intention is to patrol the uh, Colorado River in the unincorporated area of Riverside County. Uh, we have about a 50 mile stretch of river that extends from uh, the Riverside County line on the north, bordering the San Francisco County, to the Imperial County line on the south. Uh, in that area, uh, there's a dam that splits our, our patrol area. Uh, we also share a, a stretch of river uh, where the Blythe Police Department has primary jurisdiction on the river as of about two years ago. Our primary concern is, is boating safety, uh, prevention of accidents, and to that end, um, we operate much as a traffic team would on the street, and we work boat traffic instead. We enforce uh, primarily harbor navigation code, which is a state code safety. Uh, you should see some enforcement stops. Uh, we will be watching very closely for people who may be voting under the influence of alcohol and or drugs or a combination of those. Uh, we'll also be watching personal watercraft very closely for um, safety violations. And basically we just want everybody to be safe. It's just like working in a patrol car. Um, we do make arrests. We try and, and do a lot of PR work and a lot of warnings with, with people, but sometimes uh, enforcement action is needed and they're cited. Boating under the influence, uh, they will be arrested and taken to the county jail. We have them uh, perform some FSTs and one of them is walking in a straight line. Another test that we have them perform is uh, having their hands extended and touching the nose from, you know, when told to do so. If they are found to, to be under the influence or intoxicated, this suspect is then handcuffed and taken to the police department where he will be booked for boating under the influence. One of the problems people have boating on the Colorado River is it's uh, basically a, uh, a shallow river with many navigational hazards. Uh, and what we're going to show you here is an example of the hazards that boaters have to be aware of. Um, I'm coming up now on both a, a log that's sticking up out of the river and also a sandbar. Uh, and these are things that people boating out here have to be aware of. We have a lot of common violations here on the water with numbering. And with the numbering on it, they have to be on the front half of the, of the vessel. The CF number, which stands for California, those two numbers have, or letters have to be together. The second four groups of numbers have to be together. And then the last two letters have to be together with a space in between those groups. And then your year stick of the DMV is back from the last letter. Our primary concern is boating safety, uh, that nobody gets hurt and that everybody has a good time. Uh, we also do education, search and rescue, uh, just like to spend time out there with a high visibility, letting people know we're around and to behave themselves and yet still have a good time.